the person. Used to so you are not vigilant. If not, how would that kidnapping take place? Is the driver that takes the children to school has connived with these criminals? Look, by social time we are going to school. By social time we are coming back. Now instead of him to take the normal route where it will be difficult, he takes the route where they were agreed. And then you hear the children have been kidnapped and the driver escaped. Of course, the blame will be on the security agencies. Now, how do you find that until when the police or security agencies go into action and then find out that it was the, the, the driver that masterminded the, uh, the is, uh, kidnap. Is there a similar case with all of these cases that you had? I, I, I was a governor. I'm telling you for example what we know. Well, how about in FCT now? Any case that looks like this one recently? I don't need to reveal certain things. All I've told you that. Oh, yes, we know. agree. The point I want to let you know, we agree that kidnappings take place. But the most kidnappings too are inside house kidnapping. You can't know when you will from it. And two, you may not agree, but some people have this habit that look, let's make it uncomfortable for the government. I can tell you that. Let's be uncomfortable. Let the government have problems. You don't see that. It happen. But not to the extent that it happened. Their business is to blow it above what had to really happen. I'm not saying that as an excuse. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that with my experience, with what I know, sometimes something happened after uh, Buari. You know, we have Bandra, we Kaduna, Niger, Nasarawa, and Kudungi. Now, after Buari, there's a community, is in Kaduna. Right? When, when that kidnapping happened, they said in FCT. But it is not FCT. It is in Kaduna. But that, the, the, but that is a community close to Buari, which is an area council in uh, FCT. So, so, so the point was saying that. But some people will say, look, it has happened in Buari. And where is uh, Buari? Buari is in the. Uh, FCT. Honorable yes. Minister, you mentioned the case yeah. about uh, you know the hideouts that uh, you got in Toto, for instance. That's next next to Abaji. Uh, but yeah. that's you know you run through Abaji to get yes. to that place. Yes, yes. Uh, in our last discussion, you were talking about collaboration with you know these yes. states yes, yes. in terms of you know monitoring these borders and especially the forests that uh, provide cover yes. for these outlaws. Yes. Uh, how far with that uh, you know initiative? No, no, no. You see again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when we talk about monitoring, we do with all due respect. Um, I'm not trying to indict anybody. These are problems that have been there before, probably the, the set of governors that are there now, and the, the present government at federal level that is there. The terrain is so bad, no good roads. So, how do you? Why do you move to? You talk about forest. You require equipment, particularly drones. And you know how much, how expensive to buy drones. How many, how many states can authoritatively say today we have the capacity to buy drones? In fact, that was one of the approvals that Mr. President gave to us. That we said, look. We are going to purchase our own drone to help in surveillance and in operation, particularly within these areas and boundaries that the topography is so bad, is so hilly, and where you have the forest. And we are very sure that it is provided in the 2024 statutory uh, budget. I briefed this to the, to the uh, National Assembly yesterday, and they were highly elated. And, and, and again, let me tell you what I've discovered in terms of oppression. And my experience as a governor tells you this. In our city, 
But not like a consecrated vote. Yes, yeah, nothing like that. Like what do they call it? Yes, nothing like that. That's not like that. You see, you, you, you know, I, I, I have never seen this. We are security gentlemen to have a covert operation. They have to put it in writing. I have to minute it to the public secretary. He has to minute it to DFA. It's no longer covert. And bureaucracy for an operation that has to go on this night. Mm. Probably covert as mm. well. Mm. Of course, why do you have That's to? So no how do you know the man who is going to do the approval mm. is mm. not the one who is going to lick the information? information. So are you, are you changing that? What National Assembly said, they are going to do that. That is not possible. Mm. And So I, nothing like that is on ground? Not, mm. Nothing like that as far as FCT is concerned. No, no, nothing like that. In fact, it is here I found out that you pay through bank security. <laughs> I've never seen that. Right? You pay through the bank. So they have to assess security for two banks. How do you pay your informants? Tell me. Without revealing the identity. Without revealing the identity. How do you pay your informants? And I wonder. I said, no wonder. How will you think you will succeed? People may have like abuse the issue of security vote, but that does not mean that it's not it shouldn't be there because it has its own effect. Because as a governor, my director of officer comes by one a.m. Sir, there's an operation we must carry out this night. We require ten thousand naira. For example, I need to go and call who? The DFA, the pump said, please can you make a demo? Who, who, does, who does that in security? Nobody does that. But that's what is obtainable here. You can imagine the police asking that, you know, that, see, that these criminals use some special uh, uh, motorbikes. For you to get to the mountains, yes, yes, yes. they also need such of, special um, bikes, if not worse, powerful than theirs. Not available. We have just tried to procure about 100 now to aid them. But this is one not there. And what do you want them to do? They're a handicap. I went to the, the CP command. In fact, I got there, I looked up, I looked down. I just shook my head. I said, we're not serious about this. As FCT, we have no FCT special intervention squad that can immediately, in the command room, I've got the information that this is what is going on, so so please. Uh -huh. With all the technology gathered there, Nothing. As as governor, the former IG commissioned the intelligence center, which has all communication gadgets. Before anything happens, they are aware, and they have sent signal all over. They are state owned in the river. Yes, I built two. Commissioned by the same former IG. Mm. And how can a city like FCT? You don't have it. All, all you have is a regular, yeah, uh, like state police uh, yeah. so, command. So some of what you've spoken about, bureaucracy, some of these challenges, these are some of the things that some people have also identified at different points, meaning, look, something needs to be done differently. Right now, there's this conversation as to multi-level policing. What's your impression about that? Is that something you think we should adopt to get results? Multi-level in terms of going to state police. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, there are so many issues that I've gone. Now, when you say do something differently, what does it stop you? Like what we are doing now, that we are going to build a center that is FCT special squad, uh, special intervention squad, that will have support of the soldiers, I mean the military, the police, the SSS, 
It's like a joint command center. Command center that has everything they have or they will need. Not anything that happens is just us to police uh, a command. So this becomes a special intervention squad that will not give any opportunity for some of these uh, miscreants to operate. Perhaps if and that, so when you are talking about, so if what you are saying that we have this problem because if we have allowed state police, if we have allowed the community police or what we call council police, mm -hmm. Look at the advantages and the disadvantages. I let people tell themselves the simple truth. I would prefer state police. No problem about that. How many states can pay police salaries? How many states have money to buy equipment, ammunition for states? We're talking about it's not because Rivers can. It's not because Lagos can. It's not because Delta can. How many states in Nigeria today? I don't want to go into that. <laughs> what about there, there, there if, are if, if, look, if, what if states can afford it? Let them go ahead. No, no, but you cannot say one state, one state should have police state, the and then in, 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 the, in the federal system. Yeah, but it's a no, democracy. No, no, so everybody it's, can it's, grow it's, at the same are, pace. They can grow at different pace. Well, well, you see, our own federal system so is just, quite different. Mm. You, you see, in America, before, okay, you see, a state can say, look, I have no economic. Capability. I would therefore join the states for us to be one. It happens, but it's not here. Ethnicity will come in, religion will uh, come in, domination, all those kind of things. Now, so when people talk about state police, that's not only, we're just looking at it theoretically. But Mr. If, we, if we take it from what uh, yes. Timberlin was saying, yes. you, st you spoke about some of the communication you had, the interaction with, with the, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the centers. Yeah. And they were talking about maybe the ability to at least push back a little when these you know, offensives come from the outlaws. Mm -hmm. uh, was that in the conversation, for instance, the youths in those areas? Prior, prior, yes. For instance? Uh, uh, some of those I, I said, I said we, even, we even did what you call, we told all the area council, listen, you are going to employ local vigilante and again you have to be careful this local vigilante must be profiled who are they so we don't create problem for ourselves okay? you want to eliminate criminals you're also creating a equipping the outlaws by criminals mm -hmm. so who are they they should be profiled by the police or other security agencies two will you allow them to carry ammunition i mean uh, a weapon what kind of weapons? So I don't end up arming people that you cannot take control of tomorrow. Or they will just merely be for intelligent purpose, which I would prefer for intelligence gathering. And I can tell you that has helped. And the police have told me that most of the intelligence they gather in apprehending these criminals mostly come from their local uh, sources mm -hmm. and they try as much as they can not to let people know now and that's very danger if you say pay them pay money to their account mind you as the money comes to their account somebody who is this guy 10 million naira came today 5 million naira came the other day what is he working mm -hmm. you are not exposing you want to give them cash? Mm. I don't know what you call cash. All over the world. If you know what security is all about. All over the world. You, so you don't know that uh, NIA, if they want, they most of the operations. I don't buy cash. It's not, it's not something you go, go and collect money from the bank. Who does that? Who told you that this is CIA? They don't go, they don't carry cash to do their operation. Who told you that? It's all over the world. Okay. It's just that we, we in Nigeria have this mentality. We want to hear cash. It means that, oh, this is a, a corruption. In most intelligence gathering all over the world, they spend money. If you don't trace. You, 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 you wouldn't know. If, 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 if say you want to operate here, mm. you don't know how much they are spent to make sure they are looking for a chamberlain 
and they will go all out to make sure that they get it. It's information. You don't know what they do. So it is not peculiar. All I'm saying that most operations carried out or being carried by the intelligence and by the security agencies is not supposed to be known by people. It's only probably the head. Sometimes, even me as the head, they may not tell me. Sometimes. Except it's very, very necessary. That's, that's, that's why. Yeah. With the level of decadence you've seen in the FCT police command now, what are your plans? No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't limit it to police now. Say, I didn't say the level. No, 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 no. I, 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 will, I will refuse to accept the level of decadence in police command. I will refuse to accept that. Okay. If you say. He said they don't have common tracking device. But that does not mean it's according to the level of the decadence you are talking about. Okay. What I'm saying, even the state uh, services don't even have it. Ordinarily, why should it be so? It is not because of this administration. This administration came when? It has never been there that the point I'm making. And the problem we also have is that these problems have been there for years. For okay. years. Ah, and now, okay. and now okay. everybody expects you that the problem that has been there for over 20 years, then within seven months, it has uh, disappeared. You must give the government some kind of kudos. But yes, we know it is not easy, but are there steps being taken, like what we are doing in FC today, that you have even attached to the fact that yes, we can say that's relative calmness in, 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 in FC today. Ah, we you cannot are say. request for more security presence in those far flung area councils, Abaji, uh, Buari. Okay. I see we want to what we have done. Take for example, when we want to Guagalada, we were told that look, they need some more police stations presence at certain areas and which we have a promise to provide. I've told the CP we need a design as usual. It is there in the uh, 2024 uh, budget. We included it about four police stations, two in Wagwanda, one in either Kwale or Abanj. I think there are four, but I have not been able to really do. And then some other military presence. And to help them make sure these roads that they have identified as critical critical areas that these criminals always come to, we must have to act, which we have promised that go home, it must be done. And we have started uh, doing it. Is it the first time the government is even talking about rural uh, the people don't say the impact of governance. They don't even care. So that's why they, 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 they are surprised. Well, we want to, there's a place, Jiwa, and they call the, the road the Siberia or Siberia. It, Siberia, but you know, it is, it is a hell. It is a hell. When they are, I told them we are going to do it, and we came, and the road is going over. Well. You can see the happiness in the faces of the people. There's no magic in this. Just, you see, when one has this confidence, you know, what has happened between the people and government is that government tells them something, government will not fulfill it. So, we don't care. But there's still a government now, said, look, we are going to do this. And then in the next two days, the government has come to do it. That creates some confidence. And people are believing that, yes, we have, we are part of the government now. We cannot tell government this is what is going on, and government will uh, uh, will uh, intervene. So most of the security issues are not just, you know, you cannot, you know, uh, 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 solve some of these problems without involving the local uh, communities. Uh, communities. Uh, uh, minister, so. fi finally, to put a cap, uh, because we're talking about security all this way, but to put a cap, apart from the issue of, you know, the pushback in terms of, you know, the equipment gap, getting equipment and all that, uh, another aspect could be perhaps was, since we know those who are involved in these are, uh, you know, youths and all that, while this infrastructure development that you have been doing are going on, is there perhaps, you know, an avenue that could lead to more job creation, mass recruitment that, that would deter youths from thinking about the quick wins of, uh, you know, kidnap? First of all, uh, the, uh, when there's massive infrastructure going on, that also tells you employment is going on. Mm. Employment must not be only white collar jobs where you must work in the ministry. There's no way 
you can employ everybody in the ministry for it to be for it to, for you to say oh we don't have uh, unemployment what is important take for example in encouraging youths to be able to own something they can be doing while government so, uh, support them take for example if in Abuja today our total agriculture is key right what stops government in encouraging some of the uh, youths to own some of the farms and give them something to make sure those farms grow. Mm. It doesn't need to be, see, the, 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 the problem we have is that we think about billions and billions and billions. That's the only way. If, if, if a government can say, look, this young man or this group of people, after all, we have shortage of fish. The demand is so high, right? Can we see how we can set up some farms where some of these youths can own up the farms? How much does it take? That's a job, a creation. That's that a job, a, a creation. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we're working at that. We have the mentality, are you supposed to have this mentality? That except you make billions first. Nobody wants to start with, oh, I made 100,000 naira profit. Profit. No. Millions of naira as profit, start as profit, which is not a good idea. So many people who are billionaires today, they started from somewhere and go to somewhere. You employ him for you. Start with 200,000. He looks at it. What am I going to do with 200,000? Uh, that is a bad orientation. And the federal government, in various areas of manpower strategies on how our youth would engage themselves and gain and be on their own to be able to feed. Yeah. If you could just add that, uh, Honorable Minister, you talked about the launch of the mass transit, yes. CNG buses the yes. last time. Yes, yes. What's going on with that? Yeah, now? that is correct. Luckily, like I said, if not the problem we had with the Bureau of Public Procurement, we would have lost that. The emergency procurement to go ahead. When I brought it to the attention of Mr. President, when he invited the service chiefs and all of us to a meeting, and I realized, look, this is the problem we are having. Immediately, he approved, and the buses have been procured, and we are doing all the details. And I told the senior yesterday, by the time we rolled out these boxes and taxis, certain areas like Maitama, Asokoro, will not allow Kikena Pep or ordinary bike. Well, I mean, we must tell ourselves the simple truth. This is the capital of a country. This is the city where you have foreigners, ambassadors. I don't understand how we can allow at this stage Kikena Pep to take over the entire area of such areas. Security risk. Where I live, where I live, they came up this and that and that. So when that was going back, they have taken over the entire road. I came back in the night. I said, what is this? And I said, well, you have no alternative. Just, you can't chase them out. Now we have alternative. Now we roll it to the taxis and the buses out. Then we can so leave. So the, will they be part of those who can apply to get those taxis, or what is how is this going to Yes, yes, yes. What, 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 see, in these cases, the drivers will be employed by us, will be profiled by the police. In fact, not only that, we will not even allow now every route, you see, taxi on the road. We are going to make sure there are routes. You cannot apply, or you cannot apply in social routes. We are given approval for so so, and we know those who plan those routes. Mm. 
What he's saying is that in mm -hmm. Lagos now, yeah. um, the downfall drivers, the moonway drivers, they were integrated into the BRT scheme. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I said, this KK, uh, if they want to, we will employ them. Okay. That's the part of what we're trying to make. Even those who run private uh, Uber, uh, Uber mm -hmm. government has to know who are these their workers. I mean, the mere fact you run over, I'm not mean that the security they will should not know who is. So we'll be able to hold you responsible. Mm. Uh, how do we ensure that this is, this project does not go the way of previous ones in the past? We saw, I think it was under uh, Malam Air yeah, yeah. We saw green tanks <coughs> in Abuja. They were all run around. At another point, we saw Long buses. We saw buses. Mm. Those uh, red red and white buses there's a place now along Kubwa road where you see all of them parked all of them in one bad shape or the other how will you <coughs> how are you going to ensure again, that we, we this must, does not go the way of again, we must also, leadership is important leadership is important it's not going to be run as <coughs> government you know one thing i find out in our site nobody ever says government property belongs to nobody, belongs to no. nobody. It runs as if it's a business enterprise, but not for the sole purpose of making profit, uh, profit so to speak, but be able to operate very well and sustain itself. Our own concern is the area of fighting insecurity. That's our major concern. Not necessarily to make uh, money. Uh, money. We we'll escape the people. To have something to feed themselves, while at the same time we are monitoring the issue of uh, security. So, do we have a date when this scheme will kick off? You know, uh, let me use this strategy. You know, this thought to have been there in the pit latrine for three months, over years, <laughs> and it never died. Mm. Just the day they said they're going to bring the turtle. I said, Look, if you don't bring me out now, I'm going this... to die. <laughs> you have been there for years. So it's a complaint of the smell <laughs> of the place. So it is just now that you, have, you, you already have hope. We've already, got it. We've already procured the, the buses. buses and this thing. Mm. Only to put this security. And now you're not in the horror. Oh, <laughs> tell us, this will it be tomorrow? <laughs> I mean, you have 90% assurance now. That is a, it's a, it's a available. It's available. That I can tell you the truth. And the, the CNG buses you have uh, talked about. Just uh, yesterday, I was working on the file of uh, people who are interested to bring in uh, the CNG buses. And we have also said, look, we too uh, will not wait for only private uh, 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 investors. The government will also too uh, be part of procuring before we, we have. Uh, you know, some of this when you wait for private investors, the time you would want it, mm -hmm. they delay you. So we have been able also to put in our budget that will require also so number of the CIG uh, uh, buses. So, but whoever that also intends to okay. uh, partner with government, government is uh, what about if government doesn't want to partner, wants to do it as his own business? It's part of the FCT. No, no, you, you still, no, no, you still need to come to. Uh, Government, we are talking about the uh, security now. We are talking about security. Is that like we said? We are building terminals now, mm. and it, it's, it's not amazing, it's not uh, surprising to you. A city like that, we don't have uh, terminals where you can say, Look, go to this terminal if you are going to social area, social area. Go to this time now if you are going to say <laughs> nothing like so, that. So, so, Everybody's so, 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 just on right. the road. They don't even know mm. who is picking you. It's, it's unfortunate. And we are building we are building three at a go in certain areas. And you can't believe it. We want to do a public procurement. These are things we require even to be built immediately. We can continue to wait. They rejected. I told the Senate yesterday. Part of our problem is our procurement law. There is a need to amend the procurement law to give room for certain things like this. How do you expect 
We are talking about fighting of insecurity. The general, and you want to go the long haul of procurement process. You must make a waiver for issues of uh, security. You must make a waiver because I require to give, say, SSL, for example, 10 vehicles now because they need it. I require to give police 20 now because they need it. And I said, look, uh, DPP, can you give us waiver for us to have uh, um, single, uh, I mean, a direct uh, uh, so, uh, uh, purchase? Police needs it now. This. No, we are advertise. No certificate of. No I, I, advertise take you six weeks. <laughs> the bidding process, the rest of it, before certificate of no obligation will it come. These are things that hinder the progress or the fight against insecurity. I'm not saying that you should do whatever in every day. I'm not saying that which is not allowed but procurement of security matter should be waived should be given emergency that's the point i'm trying to that's the point i'm trying to do. and 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 if that happens it will go a long way in reducing crime it is not it's look give kudos to the police give kudos to security agencies despite the fact that the lack most of this equipment yet they are recorded a lot of successes you know, people just the only thing you hear somebody was up today our security agencies are doing nothing if we tell you the successes they record every day you 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 you, you marvel the successes they record every day there's no night we are the longer to where they say criminal spots had a where the the arrested boys with the Indian ham and the rest of it. <coughs> Look at them. We have identified all over the flyovers, under under the flyovers, criminals. You know, some of them stay there, sleep there, then they move out to operate. We have identified. So what what did you do? It's okay. We are going to fence it all. Fence all the roundabouts. On the, under the uh, flyovers, mm. will not allow it again. How about improving on the lighting system within the FCC? It's, it's part of what we're saying, mm -hmm. because that also helps to fight crime. You look at the solar uh, power we use. Mm -hmm. As you want one today, yeah, okay. come tomorrow morning. <laughs> it's been from the last of study. Mm -hmm. Now you ask yourself, yes, you say, oh, what is police doing? Will police be manning every poll? Every pole. Look at the the manhole. The covers. The manhole on the road. You arrest them. You tell them to call. What is the sanction? Three thousand, five thousand. Hmm. So I told you, that's not a summer. You must amend the law too. Okay. To it, make it to, to be deterrent. Like 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 in the states. We made sure kidnapping is a dealt a, a penalty. And if you're a kidnapper, you are caught. Everything you have, all the building you have, will all go down. Government will confiscate. If I, could, no just, such if I could just add this, pardon me, your extent, uh, Honorable Minister. Is the FCT thinking about, because now the heat is crazy, and I know that AEDC, by law, they have that franchise. Is the FCC thinking about probably owning their own facility? It's a, it's a issue of power. It's capital intensive. The problem with government is one to carry everything at the same time. Yes, power is necessary to help investment and rest of the But you, you are limited by funds. What you do? What are the major things now 
and which you have a little resources for you to implement. Mm. Not that going into power mm. will not be a good thing. But mind you, it's capital intensive. Mm. If we stay and, and, and we're not like oil producing uh, states where you have your uh, 30 percent uh, diversion. What we have here is just uh, fighting to get uh, entirely generated uh, revenue. Nothing. Even even you, most of you, when you hear that you want to collect revenue, <laughs> you are not even happy. But paying grand rents, not people uh, are yeah, paying. You, yeah. you are not. How many people? In fact, you know, it, it's very, very unfortunate. People just want government to do with it. But nobody asks, where will government get this um, money from? The city cannot go and print money. The only thing it can survive on is on revenue. And when people say revenue, who are these people paying the revenue? Is it the poor people? How many poor people live in Matamaya? How many people own dealers of houses in the uh, Asokoro and Garaki? The poor people are living poor where nobody is taxing them. But yeah, the big men, people like you, we don't like to pay. No, we do. We have we, excuses no, upon excuses upon excuses. We, look at we the, clearly do pay. Look, look at the publication. Minister. We chase you all, uh, all about. Look at the publications we made that were given extra two weeks over 10,000 people houses. These houses are not in the rural areas. Though. These houses are within the city, owned by big men. I, you live in a house of two point something billion. We cannot pay a tax for a year of two hundred thousand naira. What what kind of system is that? What kind of system is that? And you want me to provide road? You want me to provide street light? You want me to do sanitation? Yet you cannot pay a mansion you are living two point something billion, or even when you sell it now, you can sell it to three billion. You put it in your pocket. Then pay the, the ordinary grant rent that government has given you a CFO of 200,000, not monthly, yearly. Government will continue to chase you. We we'll begin to publish your name every day. And then you go and complain that the minister is a, 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 embarrassing you. <laughs> let me take you away from something that is making you angry. Let's get to something that will make you happy. Yes. The last time we were here with you, yeah. you told us that the road revolution going on within the uh, municipal area is not going to be limited to the AMA, but that you are taking it to the area councils, the, all yeah. the area councils. Yeah. Subsequently, we've seen you flag off one road project or the other in those area councils. We understand that you are even making more problems. Bring us up to speak about what is happening. Uh, I, 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 I don't area. know why you think that that's what is going to make me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it shouldn't make me happy because if 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 this is what ought to have been before now, but well, people don't pay rent. It's making be, you angry. Would I be focusing? <laughs> would I be focusing on other things? Or if people were living up to expectation in terms of their rent or their taxes, would have also expanded more than what what what, what we have uh, today. Mm. Now the contractor was awarded to Arab contractors. Uh, from the airport junction to Kuje. Okay. It's about uh, 15 kilometers, six lane, six lane, okay. to other contractors. It, that contract was awarded um, sometimes uh, six years ago. Abandoned. So I was going to Kuje to flag off uh, one of these rural uh, roads. So I was asking, what is this? I said, well, this contract has been awarded. So, luckily, when I go to the area, one of the demands or requests they made was that if I can see how the contractors can come back to see whether they can do this way. You don't need to leave Kuja and live here. Mm. If that road is done, mm. it takes you 30, 35 minutes to Kuja. So what do I need to, to live here? And I promised the, the chiefs, the MS, look, it is not you begging. 
It's the responsibility of government. We have to make it easier for us too. In the city, we can't continue. Everybody's moving down to the city and that's why we're having much problems. If we provide the basic amenities, even in the area councils, that will discourage people from living. Part of that is the light rail. You yes, said yes, it's almost yes, I'm, I'm, yes, I'm coming. So what I'm trying to say, today, I feel glad, I feel happy. Sometimes too, some of you should take it on your own. Without prompting us, without telling us, go to, go and see, go to Kujina, go and see what's happening. Every day I get calls, is this possible that this road is going on as expected? I went there, you know what the managing director of the company, Arab contractors, he said, Mr. Minister, we are happy. We are spending money, but we are doing the job because we know you will pay. Confidence. Mm. Because they know I will pay. And the next two days, they called me, thank you, Mr. Minister, we have received that money. Mm. And I said, not only that, you have received another one today, tomorrow. You see, it is, there is no hope of general, Mr. President. Everybody has lost hope. Now you're bringing back hope. No, don't lose hope. We, we have the capacity to do this thing that you feel that nobody. That is the agenda of Mr. President. So now you talked about the light rail. Yes. You know, it's one area I have been praying to God. God, you've done everything for me in life. This one, I, I need it. If you, if you do this and I leave this word, I will satisfy it. Because Mr. President has specifically in the last NBA uh, general conference said, I don't need your land. I need to ride on that uh, metro line. You know what that means? Before over 5,000 lawyers and the way the contract was so structured is something that if you don't have the heart, you run away. You run away. Because you don't know whether you will achieve it or not. But because we are determined, I said, it doesn't matter. Whatever it takes, we must. So, it's not just the risk, the operation. There was an agreement approved by the Federal Council for the CCECC to train the operators for two and a half years at the sum of 128 million US dollars. For the operation to train 128 million US approved by the Federal Republic Council. So, we came, we said, oh, that, uh, most of the equipment have been vandalized, so they awarded another contract for the repairs and this and that and that, almost about 60 million million dollars. The headache was too much. I, I ran to President, look, <laughs> they have said, Go and do their work. So, but I can tell you authoritatively, God willing, the way things are now, uh, it's likely that uh, we'll succeed by May. About can you, can you quickly now, conclude on the, yeah, on now, the all the federal roads yes. are all going to be completed in the next one month. The six federal roads, from communities to all the train stations. As I speak to you, are all 75, 80 percent. That's key. As I speak, because that is key. Without those feeder roads, you are doing nothing. Because they will not have access to the to stations. The yeah. So that we have done that. But we still have problem with the operation. So the company can see is it came. 
the board agreement approved by the Federal Executive Council. I'm not talking about it was headache. $128 million converted into Nara. Those are who are good in mathematics. <laughs> converted. So I called them, I saw them then. I said, hey, are you sabotaging this project or what? How do I go, how do you tell Nigerians that we are going to pay $128 million to train our people? What kind of training is that? I will not accept Right, but to go on the, the point I'm trying to make, as of today, in fact, I'm trying to make a note to, to the Federal Council. We have come from 128 million US dollars now to 75 million dollars. Even that, that I'm still not comfortable. Comfortable because when you convert it with the current trade now, it's about 100 something a billion naira. But bottom line is that you are we have been able to achieve to that level. level and we are going to by the grace of god uh ride on that on on May 20. all right in may all right see. let's 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 hang in on that mm. that will be a convenient point to go on a quick break for just about uh, two minutes we'll be right back uh after two minutes There is always more to a story than the scrimmage line. The part of a story that is not told casts a shadow. It's like the part of an object that is not reached by light. On TVC News, I'm able to explore the many angles there are to a story, talking to stakeholders, asking the difficult questions, and digging for facts. I believe the viewers are able to make a better decision if they're well informed and understand not just a part, but the complete story. TVC News. First, with breaking news. Voted as the best TV station of the year. TVC News breaks into the core of every event as they happen. Following all nationwide big and impactful stories, Without the news from every perspective, covering every human angle. I am Veronica, bringing you the news you would want to watch. Every major news story is with many perspectives and layered with different levels of impact. Hello. What time did this happen? We will be right there. As TVC News, we follow the big and major news, gathering the facts, witnessing the outcome. I am here live at the aftermath of the approval of a new national minimum wage. We are TV station of the year, not just for breaking news, but for being first, fair and accurate. TVC News, first with breaking news. Holy Shlashla Mandela was born into the Madiba clan on the 18th of July 1918. He got involved in politics in 1942 as he helped to form ANC Youth League. He was married to Evelyn Mays and they had four children. Mandela was arrested in a countrywide police swoop on 5th December 1956, which led to the 1956 treason trial. Before the end of the treason trial, he wrote to Prime Minister Furvod to include a national convention on a non-racial constitution and failure to adhere would result to a national strike. In August, he was arrested and charged for leaving the country without a permit and inciting workers to strike. He was convicted and sentenced to five years imprisonment. On 9th of October 1963, he was on trial with 10 others for sabotage in what became known as the Revolta Trial. On the 11th of June 1964, Mandela and seven other accused were convicted and sentenced to life imprisonment. He was later released from its gates on Sunday, 11th of His Excellency, uh, Chief mm -hmm. Pearson, is here one weekend. Uh, Honorable Minister, we're still here with you. Let's move to. You said we should yeah, still have we, something we, to ask yeah, on we infrastructure. We wanted to anchor on the metro line. No, we, we, okay. we will do that. Okay. Um, you linked, uh, Honorable Minister, you linked. Uh, the issues of housing, mon monitoring, 
uh, those who own these houses in terms of, you know, even ensuring security. Uh, you were talking about the fact that, you know, there are so many abandoned houses that could even be even to some of these uh, criminals. Have you gone far in that in terms of, you know, getting those, uh, the CFOs and the registrations to even, you know, tie houses to names? Well, you see that in this country, People believe that things must be don't do, we should be business as a usual. When you bring some new ideas, they try to kick against it. But leadership is key. If you are firm, that's not what you can do. We have said that look, part of what security have identified that some of these complete houses that these miscreants and criminals have taken over those houses and therefore for security reasons you better go and let them know to go and finish complete these houses or government have no choice but to revoke the title and take it over we have been able to give them time and upon time and upon time some have, you know, gone back to see that they put the buildings in use. Some have refused and we have not hesitated to revoking them. Not only they were started demolishing them. We are not only revoking, we have also started demolishing them. Is that the best option? To copy the buildings. What is the option? What, what if they make it safe and don't allow criminals to happen there? Because these no, are no, what people's saying, hard end. No, resources. what they are saying, if you go back, to complete the house for people to live. We have no problem. But those who refuse to comply, we have no choice. What if, if it's because they don't have the funds? Then we should allow criminals to take over because you don't have the funds. No, if they prevent criminals from using the they? They? How do they? How do they? They can put security uh, details there. Well, well we, we, we will not allow that. Take, for example, some people have plots of land. They allow people to go and do shanties. And in particular, in the cities. Take, for example, we have the, the diplomatic area where you have a um, uh, uh, Russian embassy, European uh, Union. There are lands that have been given out to people, some embassies to build. For one reason or the other, we don't know. I went there. Look at shanties I've taken up. And I said, look. Who are those embassies that want to build it immediately? Qatar came up. So look, they need a place like this for them to build immediately. I revoked it and gave to Qatar and they're building. United Arab Emirates came. We need to build our residential and this. Where they gave us, there's no infrastructure. I called the director of lands. Since they are ready to build, give them there. And they have submitted their drawings for approval. I have never seen in cities where not green areas where you are living from vegetation or whatever, but where you are supposed to build, land has been given, and you allow this land to take over the place by building all kinds of uh, bachelor houses and this. Nobody does that. And I'm not ready. It doesn't matter who is involved. It doesn't matter who's involved. And the problem we have is that we have a way to give names to people when they take firm decisions. When they take decisions that you think are hard. For me, I'm used to that. I'm not going to look back. This one that the tenor are expired that we have advertised, advertised, and advertised, and advertised, and advertised. By the, by, by the end of this week, next week, we are probably that we were revoked. Yes. Or you will say, you have a way to give public officers the one name or the other. We are not bothered about that. We don't, I don't have sleepless nights over it. As far as my conscience, I know I'm doing what is right. And for the security <laughs> of people. I saw a cobbler who pretended to be a cobbler. As you are driving to my house, under the tree, I call my ADC. Huh? When do you start having a cup of <coughs> Ah, 
Donc, le combat est suivi. Il s'est eu four mois. Who tell you he has come in? He has gone out. And then, when we drive him out, you come. Why is he not allowing the man to survive? The man is looking for where you, how you feel. Who told you that? Who told you it is that place that you will survive? But what about security? Mm. But what about security? And you must be firm. Yeah. Well, we'll hear you on that one, but talk to us about what's the plan for mass housing for people? Because you say sometimes, look, some of these so-called mass housing are not affordable for the masses. So what's the FCT? What I said before, when somebody comes, government should provide infrastructure worth over 80 something billion. The land was bought by government. Infrastructure provided by government. Then somebody comes that he wants to build a house to sell to people. At a low cost. I don't want to uh, low cost. No. You want to use government to make uh, money. I have the land. I have provided the infrastructure. We have to see that. It's partnership. Government is not interested in making money. But not that government doesn't want money to also provide other infrastructure. But the story is not to make money. But we need money to also carry out other things. So we have to sit there with you and say, look, this houses cannot be sold at this cost. We allow you to sell it at this cost. If that is not allowed, forget it. Again, some people come to government and say, look, we want to develop we need 200 hectares to develop houses for people. That's okay. I have no problem. Let me see your capacity. Where is the money? Oh, I have a bank that I want. No, I have no problem. Let the bank, call the bank. Let them show me the agreement you need to do, how much you're going to give them. All fake. All they do, collect government land. Years come, they begin to sell the land and make money. I have a lot of letters here. I need 200 hectares of land. I have partners who are coming from Europe to provide my master. I've seen these partners a lot. <laughs> Show me what is on ground. Sign my agreement with That is all you see. We are willing. When we see the one that is sincere, and it's genuine. Genuine is saying that you put the cards on it. Look, this is the bank funding us. We we'll see the letter from the bank. We are, from, we are going to release to them such so amount of money. The bank is granted. And you sign with government. Government says, yes, we are going to give you this. But within one year, two years, if this is not done, government, the land goes back to the government. I have seen, and I can't believe it, when I came on board, how dubious people are. I said this without, it doesn't matter who's involved. It's a, a staff. Immediately the former minister left. The staff signed on behalf of a minister, given an over 500 hectares of land to somebody. We have been meeting here. And our legal team said, nobody can sign on behalf of minister. You can't. You have no such authority. Mm -hmm. 
In fact, the present government came in May 29. We were appointed in August. From May 29 that the present government came to July, go and see contracts awarded. Go and see contracts awarded. I just discovered of recent unknown what the former permanent secretary here did. Between the government came in May and I came in August. They've employed over 2,000 persons. In three months? Yes. I'm backdated. Them. So what's going to happen? Over 2,000. So what's going Will to happen? Will they all be flushed out? Now, 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 now look at it. You look at it in two ways. You know that's not fair. That's illegal. So, what do we do? Should I say they should be sacked? Labor crisis will come in. But is that right? Is that right? The kind of thing, do you believe it that FCT alone has staff strength of not less than 38,000? Can you believe that? Of not less than 38,000 staff with 200 some something directors. I thought they were promoting themselves, saying they won't be permanent secretaries. They retire without being permanent secretary. So it was like, look, well, since we don't know if us can be permanent secretary, let's be promoting ourselves here. Director, director. No, that director. has been addressed now. No, yeah, the, no, 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 no. The, the point I'm trying to say, the no, the point I'm trying to say, yeah. because there's no future for them. Okay. They try to create a. So they have to say, well, we, we, we shouldn't die like this. Let it be that, you know, they created so many departments. So that a director will head a, a department, not a half small. The department is not a half small. Luckily, Mr. President said, look, look, we can't, that's nothing like career progression in life. That's not giving somebody hope in life. Luckily, the law is there. 2018 Act is there. I'm going to say, look, the law is there. What's the difficulty? In creating their own civil service, in making them to go to director to be permanent secretaries. And like I said in Nigeria, that's only the power tussle. Mm. Not for the institution, not for the system to grow. It's for the I am in charge as head of service of the Federation. I will send a permanent secretary to FCT. Who employs? It is not the Federal Civil Service Commission that employs staff of FCT. FCT employs their own people, mm. promote their own people, but cannot get a level of permanent secretary. So what, what is, so you are not superintending over any staff here. All you are interested is to send a permanent secretary who will not be Briefing you when you have no control over the staff. And Mr. President is with them. I have come here to give people hope. I didn't come to kill their hope. I said you need hope. If the law says this, why not, why not implement it? I'm here to implement the law. And I said, Mr. Minister, go and implement. If not for somebody like Mr. President, no way. So many people fought the implementation of this 2018 Act. And you ask, what are you losing? That the law says they should have their own civil service commission. That will promote them. That will discipline them. That's it. It should be seen as a state. The same structure. They have commissioners who should be called as mandate secretaries. They have general counsel, which you may call as attorney general. They have solicitor general, which you may call as permanent secretary of solicitor general of the Ministry of Justice. So, what is wrong in them having their own permanent secretaries and having their own head of service? Okay. So, you, you have 10 permanent secretaries yes. now. 
you have the yes. FCT uh, civil, civil so, service committee also service. in place yeah, with service. the chairman and the members already appointed. Yes, yes. What would this bring to the administration of the FCT now in, in running it as if it were a state? Okay, what, what, it's just starting with the bureaucratic structure. If you say, take for example, you have civil service commission which has to talk about discipline, talk about training, talk about promotion of civil servants. In fact, FCT is a concern. Two, every career, everybody would want to attain the highest level in his career. And what higher level? The civil service. Sec. Permanent secretary, head of uh, service. service, right? Now, if in a situation where I can't get to that level because there's no room, is there any a motivation? Does it make me to put in my best? Mm. Certainly not. Mm. Now, there is no hope. Enough headroom. That I'm going to retire one day as a permanent secretary. Take, for example, those that will be sworn in on Monday, the first set. Do you know how elated that I was the, one of the first that when this was implemented, I was made a permanent secretary. Others are now waiting. Mm. The permanent secretary will retire tomorrow. This will retire in the next one month. There's a likelihood it's from my zone, for example. I may be the permanent secretary. Hope has been brought back. Mm -hmm. They will see more dedication, more work. Nobody puts in his best when he's going nowhere. So you see things are now well structured. And you see high performance. Mm -hmm. It is there. There are no two ways about it. And for me, I told Mr. President the other day, I said, for me, sir, if this is the only thing I achieve during your tenure as the President of the uh, Federal Republic of Nigeria and Commander-in-Chief, and I leave office today, I am fulfilled. I have to add the light trailer. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, no, no. Let me tell you why. No, no, no. Let me, let, let, let me tell you. Why am I fulfilled? That you make people to have hope in life. I, I was just Human saying. development is key. You don't know what you're talking about. Look at somebody I've been appointed as head of service. It has gone down in history. As a full set of service of the FCT. It's not money. Mm. Even if it retires tomorrow morning, mm. it's, it's, it's fulfilled. I got to the highest level of my career. So, the, the why I said, even if, as I finish talking here now, I'm no longer Minister of FCT, I feel satisfied. Not to talk about, again, something that had been there to Mr. President. That he said, people are looking for land. I don't need it. What I want is, let me ride on the metro line. I, I just use that as an intervention. Let's stay with uh, you know your workforce yeah. and uh, this structure. You have to be congratulated on that. But uh, we also need to look at uh, you know what this also means. Last year you told us you were paying about nine billion a month for yeah. your workforce. Yeah. I don't know how much you are paying now in terms of today's realities. Um, is that daunting in terms of the plans you have, uh, especially the, the, the payments you need to make in terms of the contracts uh, you are doing and overseeing in terms of infrastructure development? Just well, there are myriad of issues, problems. You are, here, you are here to solve the problems. You don't want anything to be for you to say, oh, it's because we are paying so, so wage bill that we are not able to do this or do that. I wish the wage bill should come lower. It would have enabled me 
to put the, some of the funds to other areas. Well, be it as it may, you have to move on and work on strategies on how it does not affect you. Let me tell you something. Our budget is 1.1 trillion. We submitted to Mr. President to National Assembly. Okay. Somebody who said, ah, 1.1 trillion. Yeah. Somebody said, ah, what is this? And that's why we have to thank Mr. President for bringing us out of the TSA. Today, you have been talking about payment of contractors, jobs are going on well. When we went to TSA, nothing was happening. Why? Bureaucracy. Not only bureaucracy. You don't have access to other funds. Whatever you get now from the IGI this month, for example, you share it. And it doesn't make sense. It's like pouring water in an ocean. So it's not what it makes sense. Tell us about that idea. No, so, so that's what I'm saying. Okay. So you know about the. the so we propose to Mr. President to the National Assembly. We want to go to other commercial markets. Listen, we need this amount of money. We need it. How do you pay back? We attach our IGR to our SPO. Now, the money is there. You share the money, attach it to basic infrastructure. Take, for example, the OSEX, outer southern, where you have that uh, 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 um, uh, Asokoro junction, for example. How much, for example? What is left? Maybe it's 20 billion. After 20 billion, I need this job to be finished by December. Right? B6, B12. How much is left? Social amount. From this loan. I pass this money to that job, to that job. Before you know, you are sure of 10 projects. Oh, completed. Be completed. Now, what's the bank doing? Every month, they collect that year. So, if we are collecting 500 billion, for example, the bank is taking from us every year, say, 120 billion. At 10, 10 billion a month. That's 120. But we are not depending, if we depend just on that monthly, you get a share. This one, 1.5. This one, this. variations will come. Variations will come. And you know, I'm one of the opponents of variation. I believe that government jobs are. It's ordinarily high. I will not tell you lies. And so when I look at it, and people are telling me about violation, I get irritated. Mm -hmm. So, now, that wouldn't be. Yeah. So because you know, I have money for you, which is a 20 billion, you can do my work. Mm -hmm. I pay you. So, so uh, this is the advantage. Okay. Mm -hmm. But all which, Mr. President, if you did not do it, FCT, Nobody will be talking about so do, do we have a, this and that. No. Do we have a system yes. in place now yes. such that if you are no more the FCT minister, whoever comes in sees that template and jobs will go on without any hindrance? And I, you, you cannot. You see, leadership varies. Mm -hmm. After all, somebody was there. He didn't do it. They were still in TSA at the time. Yes. I came. I wrote to Mr. President. Look at the disadvantages. It will not help us to do anything. Mm. It is your ability to convince your boss and to see the advantage. And now he has seen it. And he said, go ahead. Mm. So, today, people say, I would have been told the construction site. How? 
is because Mr. President had weighed it, has seen the advantages that were accrue to his government. He said, and move on. Do you know nothing makes you happy when you see people are happy with what you are doing? I was in the Senate yesterday. I feel highly elated. Every speaker per speaker, every speaker per speaker, we commend you. Mm. We have seen. We are happy. Anywhere we go to, we have seen so many things are happening. Mm. And we are asking ourselves, Jacob, this was not the case before. You have a new president. Who has given me the opportunity? And who is giving me the support for me to actualize his agenda, particularly as it relates to FCT? For me, it's my greatest happiness that people see, people are commending. You know, it is difficult to commend public officers. Yeah. <laughs> I, I read yesterday, <laughs> I don't want to be personal. I think mean, they say she's a senator for FCT. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. They said she's a senator for FCT. They said, uh, oh, uh, Wiki is busy scraping roads. Uh, <laughs> I just, you know, uh, in my place, that I did, I said, if you don't know what to tell somebody, you say, say, I shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. You don't have anything. You don't even know what to tell the person. You know, one of these, so Sundays, I woke up. I called my executive secretary of CD. I said, come. I said, come, come. Well, you know, I said, come down. Look at the roads. All cracked. We passed through there. I think we are going to the, uh, the villa. Then went to the police headquarters. That we go and see. This was like beauty when. I should leave it when the portals come. That's when I will go and the. Uh, you pay it. You know, bank belly. You know what uh, you know, say, bank belly. You know, you know but, but somebody wants to be a friend. He said, I don't want to be a friend. Is it by force? But, but what's like the What the person was in the <laughs> that you don't want to be supervised. Like those Super are, you, are you my are, are you my appointer? They have an oversight function. Oh, come on, do uh, listen now. Come on, do it. The problem is that she wanted to be chairman, senior committee on FCT. And the Senate President said, I'm not giving you. She remember. Let him come and oversight. There's nothing we have done. I've not invited the, the, the two chairmen of the FCT and the two chairmen of the area council. Every flag of the order. Come and see with your eyes. And I deliberately allow it to be live. I deliberately allow it to be live. And so, what are you, the, the committee, the chairman, are, are seeing what they are doing, they are coming every day. What are you going to supervise me? You, you cannot supervise me. No, but she's the the FCC. No, FCC. that is the mistake you are making. That is the mistake you are making. She will have extra interest. What is the interest? That I must see her. No, that FCC well, should function well. No. Why would I go and say, is, it, is that my responsibility? If I have a problem, I go and see. I don't have a problem. So you're likely to see her if there's, if there's a problem. What if she wants to see you? It's a very much like, she was all right to me. Then what, uh, uh, if I'm free. But she said you're not reachable. No, uh, well, how did you reach me now? <laughs> no, no, she, she's the no, journalist. Listen, 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 listen. Nobody can intimidate me. Not after being, look, look, I was a minister before. before I became a governor of one of the most important states in Nigeria. And now I'm a minister of FCD. You are saying that the only way you can bring me is to go to channel, is to go to TVC, is to go to, and oh, the minister is not carrying me. I carry it, I don't have the back <laughs> to carry. I don't have the back. The people don't know how to go about things. It's not by blackmail or intimidation. So what should she be doing? Do the right thing. Communication. Can I want to can I have audience with you? 
there are things about FCT. I want you to. The problem is this. She had a relation against my friend, Philip Adudra. Right? And then she sees Philip Adudra everywhere with me. He said, I'm taking Philip everywhere. Instead of she being the senator, how about? Will I abandon my friend because he failed the election? I mean, people are so petty. It doesn't make sense. Everybody is commending what is going on in FCT. You are busy. Say that he's not Caribbean alone and supposed to be the eye of FCT. That's lawmaking. That's lawmaking. The eye of FCT in terms of implement, implementing Mr. President's agenda is me. Is me. Uh, Mr. President <laughs> made promise to FCT. Mr. President told them, I have the new hope agenda. I want to bring back your hope. In doing that, I have somebody I think should represent me in bringing my agenda to reality. achievable. And one of those is these people, they have distorted their growth. They make sure civil servants will not grow. And he said, no, that is wrong. Today, the civil servants are happy. The hope has come back. I'm here to implement Mr. President's agenda. I'm not here to you supervise me. You didn't appoint me. What you can do is to do oversight function. When you come, if there are things you see, you think is wrong, it will take your powers to know what to do. Or you come to me. So many senators have come to me. Say, look, there's something we want to say. We want to bring an amendment to the law. FCT needs more money. It's the federal capital territory. That FCT ought to collect 1% of the total money, not 1% of federal government own share. So you take, for example, if federal government gets in the month 800 billion of allocation, 1% is 8 billion. So that's what you get. So you want to be a first line charge. So, the, so that's what, that what somebody who wants to help, help in improving FCT. How do I amend the law that will help you? You are talking about kidnapping. You are saying the sanction as provided law is not enough, is not sufficient to deter these criminals. Now, I expect you, as a single senator, as a lawmaker, how do I go through the lawmaking process to achieve this so that criminals will know that FCT is a no-go area? It's not for you to every day go on television, go on radio, that what the minister is doing is to scrape road. I will scrape more. More will go, and you, you, you see the, the, the good thing is that when I finish, you know, call a lilon. You know, call a lilon. By the time they finish, as far as you know, finish, you know, you you'll be happy that uh, you, you are driving on a good uh, uh, road, and I'm sure the the, the, the lawmaker will also. Talking about those projects, talking about those projects, I'm yes. sure it's not the metro line alone that we intend to. Present to Mr. President so for many, commissioning so many things. On, uh, on May 29th. So, Let's so talk about the other projects. The I, VP I don't, said, want, I don't want people to hate me. <laughs> Let me tell you, I will have the committee to go and work out what has Mr. President achieved in his one year in office as it relates to FCT. Do you understand what I'm saying? What has Mr. President achieved in his one year in office, which will be May, as it relates to FCT, that's my concern. I don't go to do other people's work. This is my own assignment here. We'll be able to tell Nigerians in Mr. President one year in office, see what he has been able to achieve, which is not one year I mean, in our own capacity. Our own one year will be August. 
But we are not important. It is Mr. President. It is his agenda that we are driving. So since Mr. President will be one year in office in May, what will he tell Nigerians? What will he tell FCT people? What he was able to achieve? I will rule it out. Proudly. Proudly. We will do it in such a way I don't know whether Mr. President will have the time to have the opportunity to say every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. Okay, so okay, Mr. President, take two weeks. Which you will not agree. Okay, he may, he may send the Vice President. It is, it is, it is not about, for, for me, my greatest happiness is Are you sure? Are you satisfied mm. that you think you've done well? Mm. I tell people, it's not that I think. People are saying so. Mm. You have also attested by the questions you're asking indirectly. Because when you say, oh, this project is going on here, this project is going on, what, it, what it means that things are happening. Happen. The VP's residence, how far with it? Well, it's almost there. <laughs> We're almost uh, quarter to finish. Go there. This is a project that was already 2010. At the cost of 7 billion. Vice President residence at the cost of 7 billion from 2010 to 2024. 14 good years. Who hears that? Then something must be wrong with us. As a governor, as a governor, when I told Nigerian uh, Council of Legal Education, when I went to Bayasa Law School campus, I said, look, I was going to build this. But if you agree to start a campus of law school in Port Harcourt, we will build a handover to you in a year, at the cost of what? 18 billion. We did not build it in one year. We built it in nine months. And we paid 18 billion. And then you tell me, federal government will award vice president residence for 14 years. When I told president, I can't, I can't understand this. Even if the federal government was paying one, one billion a month, for several months, Joe's better is like, I'm sorry to use that word. Joe yeah. better is money for money hand, back for God. I'm sorry to use that language. What does Joe's better If you give them the money, okay. they provide what you want. That was why, when I was going off River State, from 2019, from 2019 to 2023, how many years? Four years. Built 12 flyovers. I didn't wait down to General Baga. Four years. You put down 12 flyovers to a company called Jules Baga. Not any and any company. And then you tell me Federal Government will award VP Sweden 2010 for 7 billion naira. And then we're talking about how to finish it in 2024. 14 good years. And that means we are not serious. Don't tell me that president will come. That alone is a high diet for criminals very close to the villa. I say, Mr. President, I have spoken with Jules Berger. Of course. Very sure. There will be very sure. Because the job, the, 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 and I told you, the, are you going to finish this in six, seven, eight months? Mm. They said, we need money. money. You need yeah. money. <laughs> and we gave them the money. Today, I'm, I was there yesterday, and they said, look, by me, 
Come and take it. Honorable Minister, we can see that you have been able to fast track you know, several of these uh, projects. But there are still some that are like an albatross on the neck of the you know, FCT administration. And that is, for instance, the, the, the uh, Centenary Tower, for instance. Yeah, well, uh, the Centenary, Centenary Tower, yeah, yeah, for yeah, instance. Yeah, yeah. How have yeah. you been able to? Uh, is there anything you're doing to perhaps uh, review? It's, 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 uh, I thought when we, when we came and uh, we called the contractor. That project was awarded under the administration of Abbasio to Salini. I think it was around 50 something billion. It came down to uh, later variation of variation, it came to one or something billion. So when I came, and I saw it as something that would change the landscape of the city. So I went to President and said, Look, excuse me, we cannot allow this. I'm talking with the company if they would agree. So I tried to walk out. I said, okay, the company, where are we now? 117 billion. How do we pay? When can you finish it? They said three years. I said, okay, three years, three years, it's okay. If I pay three billion every month, in three years, I will appear about one or something a billion. Can you? Is this? You remember? I told the press that this is what we have agreed with company. Unknown to me, different stories came. The company came back. No, 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 it's not. And they, they, can't, they did it at two hundred and something mm -hmm. billion. I say, wait a minute. I don't think I have the appetite for this. So I don't present. I don't think I can continue with this. Yes, it's important, but it's crazy. It's crazy. So now the ten billion naira we put in Sokuku. So I wrote to the DMO. We are not willing to go ahead with this centenary. I don't want something that, you know, at the, at the end of the day, it will turn to 400 billion from the ones seeing it. Maybe we'll look at it from the private uh, investor angle. We'll look for people who can take it over and finish, and then they can run the place. So I wrote to DMO, can you move that 10 billion? So one of these uh, jobs, I think it's going to be the longest road. It has about uh, eight flyovers uh, by uh, CGC. I don't know what they call it. So long. More than 30 something uh, a kilometer. I said, please, could you please channel that fund to that uh, distance? Because when I looked at what is being owed to the company, uh, what's it called um, the CGC? I saw that it has come down to some, something billion. So, can you channel that? And then I call CGC. How can you finish it? They say they see the funds, they can finish it before 2027. That's fine. We're going to. It's a major road that will change the entire landscape of Abuja. Right. So, this is how I do. So, yes, I would love long to finish the centenary, mm. but there's a hiccup. Okay. And I don't want okay. government to yeah. be involved in something that I cannot explain. No, I don't want to involve myself in that. Mm. So that's where we are. If I, if I could remember properly, I think you visited, is it a computer village in Abuja or something? No, yeah, it's a technology, technology village. Technology village, sorry, yeah. yeah. So, is there any plan today or in the future to ensure you have a technology hub where a lot of that, young people can that, do things? That, again, is a good question. You see, I think they took over over several hectares of land. No infrastructure has been provided. Again, like I said, it's the driver, the head, when you give people assignment, it depends on their commitment, on their zeal. If I'm the head of the technology village, the issue is, since being appointed, 
What have I done? How many investors have I been able to bring in here? All these years, nothing. So I went there and they were explaining that, oh, the villagers have encroached. I said, yes. Who allowed encroachment? Because you are doing nothing. The villagers said it to their land that you are doing nothing and they are going to encroach. Even though they have been compensated. Mm. So I'm happy to announce to you that the Minister of Science and Tech has come. Um, we are willing to give it to them so that they will be able to bring in investors who want to establish various forms of technology as a technology hub. For me, it's not about you being a child. It's about the capacity. It's about contributions. But there are nothing. Nothing. And you answer the head of the Abuja Technology Village. It doesn't make sense to me. Government cannot put, the money government should put has been put by providing the, the road the infrastructure. So, I think the Minister of Science and Technology is doing quite well. And I can assure you, in the next few months, uh, people will begin to come in. It's an amazing place. Mm -hmm. Honorable yeah. Minister, we have just about five minutes. We have just about five minutes. Let me take you to your home state now. Yes. Your lawmakers, we, we know sometimes last year, they all defected to the All Progressive Congress. Mm -hmm. And lawmakers loyal to you. And um, you're a minister serving under the federal government. Where do you belong to now? What do you mean by they are loyal to me? Lawmakers loyal to you. Why are they loyal to me? Most of them. You How? No, you, you see, when you say. Protégés. Protégés of who is not a protégé of me? Even the governor. He is a protégé of me. Yeah. He, but he's not loyal. Yeah. But these ones are protégé and they are loyal. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> you, you, you tell me. You see, you say that these are loyal to me. You say they are my protégé. It's okay. Who is not your protégé? Okay. He said, he said my God. I said, fine. I said, okay. Is he loyal to me? He said, no. So, the, these lawmakers are loyal. He's not loyal. They said they went to APC. I have no right to stop anybody. You know, one thing people will always say, oh, I'm aware they went to, because they are loyal to me. Fine. But this is not loyal to me. When some people come to talk to me, beg your lawmakers now to do this. I said, do you want them to obey me? They say, yes. Fine. What of the other person? He should not obey me. He should assert his own right. He should assert independence. I thought Mr. President has sorted it out. But the lawmakers cannot assert uh, independence. You know, we, we blow hot and cold. And, and that's why I say, people are, you know, look, anybody who supports an ingrate is a naturally ungrateful person. People feel that agreement is lopsided by not telling the lawmakers to return back to the PDP. Because every other thing was upturned. How can, how can President determine, tell me I should uh, go back to a party? Or I should, how can you? Where are that happening? People that resigned, they were brought back. People that, you know, they, they put For them. who's one intel? Do you know what they said? Withdraw we'll impeachment. Do you know what that is? Who, who benefited from it all? Tell me the truth. Whose office was under threat? When you say these people have gone to another party, it's a matter of court interpretation. If you say I've left the party, it does not lie on you. So say I've left the party, so you, you leave the seat. You need to challenge it in court. The speaker has to hit the gavel. It's not when people, when you have interest, you don't want to look at the whole thing. As far as I'm concerned, the lawmakers have respected Mr. President. When the, the, that agreement was reached, it didn't take them 24 hours. They would do the impeachment uh, notice. What is the point that you brought, commissioners? Are they working? Okay. Let me let, you know, let I, me I, 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 I didn't know you were going into this kind of. Uh, have you had me? I'm juicy. 
Let me ask you a lesson. I'm busy with the metro project. line, how to achieve metro line. I'm busy with other projects. Honorable I'm minister. very busy. Honorable I don't minister. even talk about the. Honorable minister. Let me ask you a less complicated question. Let me ask you a less complicated question. Yes. Which party? I didn't do tell you that it's complicated. Okay. Which party do you belong to? <laughs> I'm a member of People's Democratic Party. Have you ever seen me change any day? When I, you see, I, I don't know why this. this and you are not interested in the elections in Edo, whether your party wins or not. The wicked that Nigerians know we always throw his heart. The one I did every before, political the one I supported before, what happened? The one I supported before now, what happened? So, I, so what happened? But his company, I have decided to, I have decided to take a break from politics. No, supporting it's not. Look, as you see me here now. Focus on the Everybody person. carry a cross. I'm just as I'm telling you. You don't have the back to carry people. You, you, you see, you see, when people say this, I was in PDP, I didn't hide it. I came out. I said I'm not going to support your presidential candidate. Is it that I spoke in a way people did not understand? Is it that I acted in a way people did not understand? Even 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 the deaf had me, the deaf. You can hear when the deaf can hear you. What I said, the deaf had. But if this is not done, I won't do this. And the party is still planning to discipline you for discipline that. me for who? Damago said so. Who? That I did what? That it who violated who, that who violated the party's constitution? Who violated? Who should be disciplined? I am an advocate of, uh, of the implementation of the constitution, and you are uh, you breach it, and you want to discipline me. In the first place, in the first place, can you not even say, in the first place, you should have thanked us, mm. thanked Rivers, you don't understand me, okay? As you mean, we lost the governorship. Would you have been talking about uh, uh, Rivers TV in the PDP state? Assuming we lost. Forget about these people who are gallivanting today, moving around, say that they cannot serve master and serve boy. Now they are serving boy on the road now. All right, horrible. Right. So leave all those things. And like I told you, now it's time for governance. Now it's time to do your own assignment. President are giving me an assignment. I'm busy carrying my own assignment. When the time for politics comes, then we'll know who is where, who is not where. Money is not everything. I was the Minister of State when I went to run for a governorship. Yes, I was. Did you not win? But what we like to ask you, well, yes. quickly, before no, you, no, you no, go, no. just one question yes. before you go. You straddled two places now, being governor eight years yes. in your state. Yes. Now you are FCT minister. Mm. Which one has been more daunting, for instance? Uh, I don't know how to... Here is Nigeria. Here is Nigeria. I don't have... The kind of executive power as I used to have when I was a uh, governor. Most of the things I do here, I must seek the approval of Mr. President. The luck I have is that every time I seek for his approval, he has always given. And that has made my work uh, easier. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you, it's not easy. You know, Abuja, you have all kinds of people, they hire mighty. For my presidents, I have. From army generals are here, generals are here, field marshals are here. Everybody is here. Senate so president is here, speaker is here, chief justice is here. So it is it's, it's not like in your state. No, it's not like that. But for whatever it is, if you have capacity, you have capacity. It doesn't matter where you find yourself. Mm. All right. When I was Minister of State Education, everybody thought oh, that office is a dead office. I was there. I was there. I brought it As I left, somebody went there. He said, but it's not where the uh, uh, weekend was. It is not the office. It is you. Mm. All right. But we how the office will uh, be. All right. Thank you so much, Honorable Minister. We are very sure that you are enjoying the work anyway. <laughs> Thank you for allowing us to share the beautiful ambience of your office. We really appreciate thank your you time. Thank, thank you so much. much. And of course, my colleagues, uh, Fisayo. Nice to you know speak with you again. Thank Hopefully, you uh, by the grace of God, like you said, we'll ride with you on the metro line. Right with you. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Chamberlain.
Thank you for also hosting us today. Are you? Thank you every time. God bless you. Thank you so much for everybody. So my name is Greg Gary. I will see you again, maybe before May 29, hopefully. We're we'll glad. Thank you, sir. All right. Welcome back from the live telecast. We'll now continue with our regular programs. Stay tuned.